Hey folks, Strength Coach Sean here, and today I'm going to show you a drill that's going to do three things for you. It's going to improve the core awareness and eventual strength that's going to develop. It's going to improve your hip mobility and your shoulder mobility. So those are three pretty big pillars if we're looking at it performing better, moving with uh, no pain, and just living a better, healthier life and feeling better in our bodies, okay? So I'm gonna show what we're gonna do here. First off, you'll need a fixed object, like this rack here, or maybe your, the, the couch, or even a partner or a jack post. We're gonna hold <clears throat> high enough so we feel a little bit of uh, work in our shoulders, but not so low just yet. High enough where you can comfortably control. And the first part is we're going to get our pelvic tilt, ribs over the pelvis, stiffen the core, and then we're going to get our legs up. And all I want you to do is hold this for 30 seconds. Shallow breaths, keeping that core engaged the whole time. Okay. Once you're accustomed to that, you're gonna move the hands down a little bit more, gaining a little bit more access into that shoulder, build that overhead position for your shoulders. Keep the pelvic tilt happening. Raise up the legs. Now, we're going to lower the legs down for five reps each side. Now, the most important thing is we don't lose the connection of that core. We keep the ribs stacked over pelvis position. This is tremendous for the midsection. And it's a great way to get, uh, get introduced to the dead bugs. Some people have an issue with dead bugs. They can't quite get the coordination. There's too much going on. This variation I use with people and it's fantastic. Okay, once you're done that, we're gonna move on to our hip mobility aspect. So if you can, Reach right down to the ground. So we're really getting a, a good optimal shoulder overhead position here. Get the pelvic tilt, raise up the legs, the lower one, bring it out to the side, and then right back up. Down, out to the side, right back up. Five times one way, and then five times the other. If this is too challenging, your free leg can be on the ground. Okay, try to do both sides five reps each direction. And by the end of that drill, you should have much better core awareness. It's going to feel great on your shoulders and your hips should feel nice and lubricated and ready for your day or for, for your workout, okay? My name is Sean Charlebois. I own and run the Barry Kettlebell Club. Thanks for